So yeah, hi everyone. Uh, this is Ketan Kumar Sinha. For those who don't know me, uh, I have done my B.Tech in Civil Engineering from IIT Patna and passed out in the year 2022. And recently I have been selected as a Civil Engineer Officer in Maharatna HPCL. So I have been receiving many requests from my juniors and other friends that uh, to elaborate the process of selection and in HPCL. So I decided to make a video for you guys. And if you're excited to know about the complete selection process, then please go through the entire video. So yeah, as, so as you can see from the thumbnail that uh, there is no requirement of uh, gate for uh, this recruitment process. So yes, uh, gate ki koi zarurat nahi hai in this examination. So let us see the complete details, how the selection process goes and what are the major steps in this recruitment process. If you have any queries, if you have any problems, then you can drop it in the comment section box. I will be happy to help you all regarding this. Okay. So the examination for the recruitment of officers is conducted by HPCL and it is done in four stages. The first stage is your CBT, second stage is group task, third stage is personal interview and then fourth stage is your medical exam. And absolutely there is no requirement of gate score for all these stages. And uh, her stage has an elimination round. Hota hai. So please take a note of this, that her stage has an elimination round. Hai. And what uh, are the details? What are the details? We will discuss it in the next video. But here, uh, we have seen that in this recruitment process, there are four stages. And the HPCL has its own personal exam in the recruitment of officers. Ke liye. So the first stage is that कंप्यूटर बेस टेस्ट सो कंप्यूटर बेस टेस्ट आपका 170 क्वेश्चंस आते हैं इस एग्जाम में और ये एमसीक्यू होता है प्रॉपर्ली ये हर क्वेश्चन 1 मार्क्स के होते हैं और इस पर कोई नेगेटिव मार्किंग नहीं होती है एंड यू विल बी अलॉटेड 2.5 आवर्स टू अटेंड द टेस्ट जिसका वेटेज हाफ हो जाता है लाइक इफ यू आर स्कोरिंग 160 आउट ऑफ 170 देन इट विल बी वे डाउन टू 80% आउट ऑफ द टोटल 100% व्हिच विल बी यूज्ड फॉर योर फाइनल मेरिट लिस्ट ओके सो इसका वेट इज जस्ट हाफ हो जाता है अच्छा इस सीबीटी टेस्ट में आते क्या-क्या हैं तो जनरल एप्टीट्यूड एंड डोमेन नॉलेज दो सेक्शन होते हैं जनरल एप्टीट्यूड में आपके इंग्लिश क्वांट एंड लॉजिकल रीजनिंग एंड डीआई रहते हैं और सेक्शन बी में डोमेन नॉलेज लाइक अगर आप सिविल के हैं तो आपके सिविल इंजीनियरिंग क्वेश्चंस रहेंगे मैकेनिकल और इलेक्ट्रिकल वालों को मैकेनिकल इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड सो ऑन इस तरह से क्वेश्चंस रहेंगे तो आपके मन में लाइक क्वेश्चंस आ रहे होंगे कि लाइक इस एग्जाम का सिलेबस क्या होता है कट ऑफ्स क्या होती होंगी लेवल ऑफ क्वेश्चंस कैसे होते हैं और सेफ स्कोर क्या होता होगा नेक्स्ट राउंड के लिए तो एक-एक चीज पे धीरे-धीरे बढ़ते हैं हम लोग बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी टेल यू दैट जनरल एप्टीट्यूड सेक्शन इज लाइक काइंड ऑफ अ स्कोरिंग सेक्शन इन दिस एग्जामिनेशन यू कैन इजीली स्कोर अराउंड लाइक 70 टू 80 मार्क्स आउट ऑफ 85 इन दिस जनरल एप्टीट्यूड सेक्शन लोग कभी-कभी क्या करते हैं कि डोमेन नॉलेज के चक्कर में लाइक like सिविल मेरा सिविल है तो सिविल के चक्कर में उसमें ज्यादा टाइम देते हैं बट दैट शुड नॉट बी डन आपको लाइक like, प्रॉपर्ली टाइम देना चाहिए सेक्शन ए और सेक्शन बी दोनों में ताकि दोनों के क्वेश्चंस अटेम्प्ट हो जाएं लाइक like, मेरे केस में क्या हुआ था कि मैंने अपने स्टार्टिंग के 1 आवर्स में डोमेन नॉलेज के सारे क्वेश्चन कर लिए थे अपने डोमेन के एंड देन आई प्रोसीडेड फॉर द जनरल एप्टीट्यूड क्वेश्चंस तो इंग्लिश बहुत कम टाइम लेता है बट दीस टू सेक्शन क्वांट एंड लॉजिकल रीजनिंग दीस टू आर रियली रियली लेंदी एंड दिस वे आर आल्सो प्लेइंग एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन डिसाइडिंग द रैंक सो द स्कोर वाज लाइक यू कैन से सो दिस दीस सेक्शंस आल्सो प्लेड एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोल बिकॉज़ दे वर लेंदी सो आई हैड टू गिव अ प्रॉपर टाइम फॉर दीस टू सेक्शंस एट लीस्ट क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड एंड द डीआई पोर्शन so now coming to the syllabus portion so the syllabus of this examination is separately released by the company and it will be it will be available in the portal their own portal you can go and search it from there and more or less it is if you are preparing for gate and esc then you should definitely go for this exam the level of questions comes in between the esc and the gate level certainly there are few extra things that you need to cover for this examination, but they are not mandatory at all. So if you are preparing wholeheartedly for GATE or ESC examination, then absolutely there is no need to cover some extra uh, regarding this examination. It will be on a safer side. If you want to do, then you can go see the exact detail syllabus and you can prepare accordingly. 
But more or less, again, I'm telling that the syllabus for this examination is same as GATE and ESE. The level of questions will be in between the GATE and ESE, not the numerical, too much involving numerical solving ability in like GATE, and not too much theoretical like ESE as well. Okay. So for the first round, CBT round, the cutoff for out of 170 for the selection in group tasks and personal interview was for civil engineering in our 2022 examination was 131.85 out of 170 for general category. For OBC, it was 126.6, EWS is 121.54, and so on, as I mentioned here. So considering all this, if you have a score of 135 plus or more, then it can be considered safe score for the next round. Okay, so you should prepare your mindset accordingly. That anyhow you should score, try to score around one thirty five. And since there is no negative marking, so you can also take a chance regarding uh, those questions which are not very certain. Okay. Now coming to the second stage, it is a group task round in which you will be provided a problem statement. So the first five minutes will be allotted for understanding the problem statement. You will be given a sheet of paper and uh, this group task and physical uh, personal interview will be held in offline mode, completely offline mode at the center. So for our time, uh, we were called in Mumbai uh, the, and then uh, at the center, we will, uh, we'll, we'll, we will, we were given these uh, sheet of paper or usme hame paanch minutes diye gaye the taki hum problem statement ko acche se understand kare and scribble pad diya gaya tha taki hum usme us usse inference leke kuch notes bana sake and later after that 50 20 minutes diye jate hain ki aap us pe discuss kariye and ek conclusion pe laiye like the problem statement should have a conclusion so they want to judge how do you conclude this problem okay again please take a note of this that this is also an elimination norm even if you have scored 170 out of 180 in the written CBT examination, and if you are you, you are not qualifying this group task, then you will not be eligible to appear in the next round, that is the interview round. So the overall weightage of this section is 5% only, but it is mandatory to qualify. Okay. So once you qualify this, the results for group task are announced immediately after your group task activity gets finished on the same day. Then third stage comes, that is the personal interview. So this interview round was uh, like for me, it was around 30 minutes. And for most of the candidates at our centers was 30, 30 minutes only. Again, this is an elimination round. So if someone gets eliminated at this round, then there is no chance of further selection in the process and you are out of the process. So the nature of questions are they're mostly non-technical and uh, Few questions were also asked from the project, like for freshers, it was asked from the BTEC projects, and those who were not freshers, their previous work was uh, being interviewed. And uh, most of the questions were also asked from the application form that we have to fill before reaching the center. So whatever each and everything you mention on the application form, that should be uh, properly assessed, that should be properly taken care of, because each and every question will be asked from those forms. The overall weightage out of 100 for the personal interview is 10%, but still, uh, and still it is mandatory to qualify this personal interview to be, uh, to proceed further for the next round, that is the medical examination. So let's not worry about the medical examination because it is just the mandatory requirement and most of the persons are declared medical effect unless, until unless they have some major issues. So this is just uh, not too much important now. This is anyway, it, it will happen. So based on all this scores, this weightage of CBT 85%, GT 5% and PI 10%, the total merit list out of 100 cutoff was declared for different categories for the final selection. So for general, it was 74.89, for OBC it was 76.29 and for EWS it was 74.6. So this includes the entire process for the selection in the uh, examination of HPCL. So this was all about the exam process and the details with the cut, uh, cut cutoffs. And uh, to inform you, like uh, in getting a high score in, in interview is really a difficult and challenging task. And I got the score of 8.5 on a scale of 10 in the interview process. So I will be happy to share my interview experience and the questions asked during the interview. Further, I will also add uh, how to fill the application form from which the interview questions were being asked. 
the do's and don'ts for the interview and the strategy for getting a high score in the upcoming video. So अगर आपको ये video अच्छा लगा हो, then please like and subscribe and stay tuned uh, because very soon I will be going to upload the next video. So thank you, uh, thank you for watching. Thanks.